Well, thank you very much for joining us on the newsroom. I am Fola Shadi or Green Day. The Nigerian Railway Corporation, NRC, has cancelled its service on the Abuja Kaduna rail line after an attack on the train. The train was reportedly attacked with explosives by gunmen on two different occasions on Wednesday night and Thursday morning. Officials of the corporation confirmed on Thursday that services on the route had been halted, but explained that investigations were ongoing to determine if the facility was actually bombed when, as widely speculated. A communal clash between Gungura community in Gunjawa local government area of Bauchi state and the Buriburi community of Duku local government of Gombe state has claimed an unspecified number of lives while houses and farmlands worth millions of naira were destroyed. The incident between the two border communities was revealed by the member representing Ganjiwa East constituency in the Bauchi state house of assembly Ghazali Wunti during a plenary at the house. Wunti explained that the incident has been a real occurring one for some time now, but efforts to settle the dispute have failed. The governor Nasser El Rufai of Kaduna State has called on the federal government to declare bandits as terrorists to allow the Nigerian military to deal with them according to international law. This came as no fewer than 343 persons were killed from July to September 2021 in Kaduna State while 830 others were kidnapped. The governor also called for a consensus between the federal government and the 36 states on an emergency program of recruitment into the security security agencies. A Britain's doctors' union has accused Boris Johnson's government of being willfully negligent in its handling of the latest wave of the COVID-19 pandemic. According to reports, ministers have refused to introduce mitigation measures despite soaring infection rates and increasing pressure on hospitals. The government has, however, ruled out moving to its Plan B approach, which could see the introduction of vaccine passports and mandates in line with many European countries. The National Bureau of Statistics NBS says spending by Nigerian residents rose to 54.84 trillion naira in nominal terms in the first half of 2021. According to the Bureau, the expenses incurred by Nigerian households increased by 13.7% in the last six months of 2021 when compared with the corresponding period of 2020. On the other hand, the report revealed national disposable income declined by 2.25% in the first quarter of 2021 and 5.35% in the second quarter of the same year. Well, for my United States President Donald Trump has announced the launch of his own social media platform nine months after being expelled from all major sites for his role in alleged inciting violence at the U.S. Capitol following his election defeat last year. In a statement on Wednesday, Trump said the launch of Trump Media and Technology Group and its Truth Social app is meant to remedy suspensions from the sites such as Facebook and Twitter. The social network is set for preliminary rollouts in November and a full rollout in the first quarter of 2022, according to the release. In July, Trump sued Facebook, Twitter and Google, along with their chief executives seeking the restoration of his accounts and punitive damages. Well, Lagos State Governor Babachide Songwulu has announced plans by his administration to build 10 new stadiums in the state. Songwulu made this known when he received table tennis player Kodri Aruna in his office on Tuesday. The governor will praise Aruna for being a model to the younger generation, promised the support for the Table Tennis Stars Foundation. Aruna praised the Lagos State Governor for his strong support for the annual Nigeria Open, which attracts stars from all continents. I need to wrap on our update. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fola Shadi. Have a great day. Bye for now.